Hi, in this question we have a right angle triangle and we're being asked to calculate the size of the angle marked x. So we're trying to work this out here and we need to give our answer correct to one decimal place. Now the first thing that we need to do here is we just need to identify um, and label each of the sides of my right angle triangle. So um, here's my x. The first thing I want to identify is where my hypotenuse is, so my longer side of this triangle. And that's going to be over here. That's the longer side. It doesn't touch the right angle, remember. And then um, the one over here is my opposite side. And um, this one over here is going to be the one next to the angle, which is going to be my adjacent side. Okay, remember the opposite doesn't touch the angle. So it's opposite the angle. Right, um, now of these... I don't need my opposite side because I'm not trying to work that out and I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to ignore that part. And um, what we do need, we need the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So if I write down Sokka Toa, okay, because I've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse side, um, that's involved here. So I'm going to be using my Ka. Okay, so I'm going to write down that the cosine of x, so cosine of x is going to be equal to, and that's saying adjacent divided by hypotenuse, so it's going to be 5 divided by 8. Okay, so um, using my calculator now, I can work out what x is going to be, because it's going to be the inverse cosine of 5 eighths, the inverse cosine of 5 eighths. So my calculator here, um, I can put in the inverse cosine. Now it's worth just making sure that you're in degree mode, um, and I know that I already am, so make sure that you're in degree mode, and we're going to do the inverse cosine. So if I press shift and cos, and then I'm going to put in there 5 eighths. And that tells me my angle is going to be 51.3 degrees to one decimal place. 51.3 degrees. So I can say that x is equal to 51.3 degrees. So we now have a second part to this question, um, and in this part we've got a different right angle triangle, and we're being asked to calculate the value of y. Now this time we've got a length that we're trying to find out rather than an angle. So again, I'm going to start by labelling um, each of the sides. So I start by identifying the longest side, which is the hypotenuse. That doesn't touch the right angle. There's my 40 degree angle. The y is the opposite side to that, it's opposite there. And the 12.5 is going to be next to that angle, so that's going to be my adjacent side. Okay, this time it's the hypotenuse side that I don't need. So I've just got the opposite and the adjacent. So again, if I write down Sokotoa, And the opposite and the adjacent side is what I've got this time. So it's going to be my toa bit that I'm going to use. So I'll start by writing down that the tan of the angles, which in this case is 40 degrees. So tan of 40 degrees is equal to my opposite divided by my adjacent, which is y divided by 12.5. Oops, 12.5 try that again. y divided by 12.5. Okay, so, um, and I can work out tan of 40 degrees on my calculator, so we'll start by doing that. So tan 40 and that's going to be 0 0.839. I'm going to keep this number in my calculator because I'm going to use that later on, but I'll write down 0 0.839. So I've got 0 
is equal to y divided by 12.5. Okay, I've now got an equation to solve. So I'm just going to draw bars either side. And I want to know what y is, so I'm going to multiply both sides of this by 12.5. Okay, so 0 0.839 times 12.5. And remember, I'm going to use this number here, so I'm going to do this number times by the answer times by 12.5, and that gives me 10.4887. We want it correct to one decimal place, so I'm going to say 10.5. is equal to y. So my answer is going to be y is equal to 10.5 centimeters. Okay, thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.